Admins audit changes to an org's customization, which includes fields, like new fields being created and changes to existing fields within setup. We also want to review how often our fields are being completed and changes to our field values to show incomplete data or just to audit who is making those changes. Let's get started with a couple tools to help us audit our fields. We're going to review the setup audit trail, optimizer, and through field history tracking. Now, the setup audit trail is going to show us a history of our 20 most recent changes across the org, but this also includes changes to our fields, meaning it's going to help us track changes to our customizations of new fields being created or deleted, changes to any of our fields data types, adding or editing of our pick list values, and changes to our field level security. So for example, in this org, you can see that a new custom field was created. We have changes to our opportunity stage pick list values, and we have deleted a custom field. These are what I call our configuration changes to our fields to help us influence the quality of our data. Is really helpful for admins, especially if you're not the only admin within your org. You can see and track changes that are being made, whether they're being made by you or not. Now, the optimizer is a tool that literally will audit your entire org for any concerns within your implementation. These are going to cover metrics from storage, the code, to layouts, and our field usage. So within my optimizer, I'm going to navigate down. I'm going to open up the optimizer. And I want to specifically take a look at our field usage. So within all of my results, I'm going to scroll down till I find field usage. And what we can see here is that I have 13 fields that are completed less than 10% of the time. Ouch. So this for an admin is where we really can take a review and look at some recommended options, how long it will take us to fix it, but really just to ask ourselves, okay, let's review these fields to determine if they're really needed. And if they're needed, do we need to start adding any validations or configurations to ensure that this data is actually being captured? So you can see here that I have a whole list of those fields that I need to take a look at and really assess why they're not being completed and what we need to do to have them completed if needed. Field history tracking is going to be useful across all standard and custom objects to track up to 20 standard or custom fields. And what we can do is we can view changes to our fields within a related list on a record or using reports. And what field history tracking does is it's going to help us track and log the date and time of our changes to our fields. And these are values that our users are completing. The user who is making the change because Multiple users can have access to one record and old and new values. This data is also retained up to 18 months or 24 months via the API. So in order to enable history tracking, I'm going to go into a specific object like the account. I'm going to go into my fields and relationships. And over to my top right hand corner, I have a set history tracking button. Once I click that, I can enable history tracking. And you can see all of my fields, standard or custom, where they're going to track either the old or new values or just changes, like a description field. We really can't say the old value versus the new, but it will track that a change has been made. Now, this is where you want to select those key fields that you really need to start auditing, who's making the change and what those changes are. So I can come in here and I'm just going to click on the employees and let's say our annual revenue and click save. Now, the next step you do not have to do, you always can look at these changes via reports, but I am going to add it as a related list to my page layout. So I'm going to come over to my page layouts and in my account layout, I'm going to navigate to my related list. And you can see that I have an account history related list. For ease, I'm just going to drop that to the very top. And I'm going to save that. Now, as an end user, let's see what that looks like when once the related list has been added to that page layout. 
Now I'm on an account record all about camping. Now remember, I have tracked changes to my employees and annual revenue field. So if I come down into my details here, if I go to edit this and say that we modify this from 1,500 to 2,000 employees, and instead of $15 million in, in revenue, we're gonna do $30 million in revenue. And I'm gonna click Save. Now, if I come up to my Related tab, you can see in our Account History Related list, say that three times fast, we can see the field, the user making the change, I'm just the admin user in this org, the original value, and then the new value. We also can look at this view all to see a list of any of those changes to the tracked fields that have been made. We also can see this in a report. So I'm gonna jump up to my more where I have my reports tab. And I'm gonna to go to this account history report. Rather than looking at individual records one by one, this is also a great opportunity to look at all the changes that are being made, see who's making the changes to your fields, or if you need or have any incomplete data that you need to assess. Tracking and auditing changes to your fields is part of maintenance and success in an org. And that's because data is used for everything, analytics and building customer relationships. Leverage the audit trail to monitor admin configuration changes to your fields, the optimizer to review the completion of fields and our history tracking to see who is editing key fields and also who is not completing data that is needed.